Okay, I got a joke for you here. Take a look at this. Okay, there's a bear at a bar and the bear says to the bartender, I'd like a whiskey and Coke. And the bartender says, why the big paws? And the bear says, I don't know. I was just born with them. <laughs> I, don't know. I was just born with them. Do you get the joke? Do you understand why it's funny? Okay, well, this joke is funny because of something in English called homophones. Okay, homophones. Do you know what homophones are? Homophones are words uh, that sound the same but are completely different words. Okay, so words that sound the same but are, are different words. For example, if I, if, if I said by, okay, spelled B-Y-E, right? But if I said, uh, buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee, okay? Buy and buy are completely different words, right? They sound the same, but they have completely different meanings. Also, if I, if I were to say, uh, by the end of this lesson, you will know everything about homophones. Okay, then there's another buy, B-Y. Okay, so let's take a look at this joke and, and try to find the homophones. Okay, there are two, but there's, there's only one, but the second one is implied. Okay, the, bear, the bear's response implies another one. Okay, so, so what is it? I'll give you five seconds to try to, uh, to think about it and let me know down there what you think, what you think the homophones are. Okay, one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll tell you. The homophones are pause and pause. Okay, pause and pause. Two different words that sound exactly the same. Okay, so let's take a look at the joke again. Okay, it says, I like a whiskey and Coke. Right? There was a pause in the bear's speech. I would like a whiskey and Coke. And then the bartender says, why the big paws? And then the bear says, I don't know. I was just born with them. Okay, so what, what is the bear thinking? I mean, what does the bear think the bartender means? He thinks the bartender is asking why he has such big paws, right? Bears don't have hands. Bears have paws. Okay, so that's the, that's the joke. That's why it's funny. Okay, the, the two different words. Pause and notice they're spelled differently, right? It's just completely different word, but they're they're pronounced exactly the same. Pause and pause. Okay, so I don't know. The bear says, I don't know. I was just born with them. So the bear completely misunderstands uh, the bartender. Okay, so so that's an example of homophones in English. Words that sound exactly the same, but are are different words. So I want you to think about some examples. There are lots of these in English, actually, words that sound the same, but are different words. So I want you to think of, of you know, maybe there are two words or three or four, you know, words that, that, that sound exactly the same, but are all different words, right? I gave you an example with the word buy, right? Buy or buy, you know, if you buy something at a store or by, you know, by the time you by the time you finish this video, you'll understand. I hope you understand what homophones are now. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just a funny joke. You know, I think in the future, I'm going to teach English more using jokes because jokes are just a great, just, a, you know, a great way to learn English. You could learn about homophones in like a grammar book. You know, it's sort of boring maybe. Or you could learn from real jokes like this. Jokes are great because, you know, there's things that native English speakers read too. Uh, you know, native English speakers don't read grammar books. So when English learners just like study grammar books, in a way that's not the best, it's not the best way of learning because native English speakers don't do that. And so, yeah, it can be helpful. You know, it's very helpful to, to learn grammar for sure. But if you can participate in something that native English speakers enjoy as well, then you sort of get 
you, you get more than just the grammar, right? You get the joke, you get the humor, you get some culture, maybe, you know, like, what's the bear asking for? The bear is asking for whiskey and Coke. Uh, you might not know that's one drink. Did you know that, that whiskey and Coke, they're two separate things, right? But it's actually one drink. If you go to a bar, maybe you've never been to a bar. If you go to a bar, you know, it's a, it's a common drink. People will order a whiskey and Coke. It's, that doesn't mean they're ordering a whiskey and a Coke. They're ordering a whiskey and Coke. It's, it's you know, Coke with whiskey in it. Okay, so it's one drink. You know, maybe you, maybe you didn't know that. Right. So so just things like this, you learn, you know, you learn so much more than just the grammar. So I think this is a great way to teach English. I'd like to, to do this more. And the last few videos I've made have all been about jokes. So if you like learning about English jokes and other things like grammar and puns, a lot of puns I've been teaching you guys on my channel idioms those kinds of things if you like that then uh, stick around because I think I'm gonna do this a lot more in the future because I, I don't know I think it's a great thing and I think you guys enjoy it smash like if you do enjoy it but if you want me to do more boring grammar lessons then let me know down there in the comments and I'll try to make some some boring lessons but for right now I'm doing a joke series I don't know maybe I'll maybe I'll stop and make a different series who knows but usually on my channel when I get into a, a certain, you know, a mode, <laughs> I just I just make a bunch of videos on those series, you know, like my Cross Canada series. I just made a lot of videos about Canada. Now I'm in a jokes mode. I'm making a lot of videos about English jokes. So I hope you're enjoying it. We'll see where the next the next journey takes me. But but for right now, I'm just sticking with jokes. So I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Maybe go mix yourself a whiskey and coke and enjoy some more videos in my jokes series. I well, hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.